Like I have a rotating top five foods list. Popcorn and peanuts never leave the list, right? But the other three rotate in and out. Walnuts and eggplant were there for a while. But then I developed an allergy to walnuts and to eggplants. They had to leave the list. They're still delicious, but I can't eat them anymore. That comparison to the other favorites list only goes so far. It's widely known that my favorite movie of all time is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper, filmed in blistering Texas heat. I like things that were made under difficult conditions. I think I just am drawn to them. The single movie I've seen more than any other, with the possible exception of The Wizard of Oz. Judy Garland's performance is unbelievable. You know, her singing is so pure and beautiful. When she got to the wizard's room and he starts, uh, the flames starts shooting up, and he says, uh, Who are you? I, uh, Silence! I, I ran out of the theater. I was afraid that, that she would be hurt, and they had to bring me back in and say, no, she'll be fine. <laughs> and so I missed I missed a fair bit of the audience with Oz. I wasn't scared by the flying monkeys or any of the other stuff, but, the, but, but I was afraid that the wizard was going to hurt her. Fiddler on the Roof was what I was thinking of. Chaim Tobel's performance is like, if you treasure good performances, it's worth seeing just to watch him work. He's amazing. So present in his body the entire time. The songs are amazing. Lots of opportunities to cry. I like things that make me cry. And Fiddler on the Roof, I start crying the second it starts. 976 Evil, right, is a movie not many people, it's not going to get a criterion. There were these numbers. 976 numbers. The phone company would charge you more for calling this number, and then that money would get passed along to the business who had the number. It will not surprise you to learn that most of this was pornography. They became 1-900 numbers at some point in the 90s. Before that, they were 976 numbers. 976 Evil was a movie made during this time. I love how dated that is, right? I have to explain to you a whole lot of things before you can understand what 976 Evil would mean. Somebody finds a business card and calls a a number that's supposed to be a a, a fortune-telling number. But their life starts to go, the predictions come true, and there's blood and death, and, and, and it's demonic. It's actually a portal into, into hell. It shouldn't be as good as it is. They don't have any budget. Uh, you can see that the, the sets they're, they're shooting on are being reused in creative ways. But the performances are kind of really great in that sort of, we know this is not a giant hit. It's just a movie, and we're trying to make it as good as we can be. And it's genuinely kind of spooky. This has been John Daniel for Letterboxd. That's enough out of me. Talk to you soon.